mean, being under fast jet attack when you're not that capable of being able to shoot them down, because as I say, because we were close to land, our primary modes of anti-aircraft uh, fighting, which is using radars, really didn't work and we had to do it in secondary, is not very pleasant because you feel a certain uh, vulnerability. You're not able to get back at them in the way you'd really like to be able to. Um, so, so that was uh, fairly, fairly unpleasant. Um, but as I say, there are lots of other things to think about. I think one of the more amusing incidents was uh, we were already on fire and had had uh, you know, people killed and bodies around and people lying here and there. Um, and we were under attack by some more mirages and suddenly I was aware, these were coming across the water firing cannon at us, I was suddenly aware of someone by my side on the bridge and it was one of the stewards with a silver salver with a cup of tea on it. And uh, I, I sort of said, well, you know, what are you doing? I probably said it slightly more forcefully than that. And he said, well, it's tea time, sir. And then he sort of looked out of the window and there were these planes coming roaring towards us and he went, oh, blimey, and then toddled off. And I thought, this is wonderful, you know, the British, you would still have tea because it's tea time, which it was tea time, it was about four o'clock. Um, which I thought was rather nice. So there were incidents like that and uh, people did brave things and uh, uh, I had one able seaman who was down aft which was very trashed because, because I steamed...